So I read the comments of my car being stolen and the different comments that I read talked about how maybe it's the neighborhood I'm living in or uh, just different comments that really would not have changed the uh, the outcome. The car, for whatever reason, it got stolen. It got stolen. And I can tell you like this. I had the car for like a year plus with not even an inkling of how they were stealing the Lexus cars, the new Lexus. I don't think they're going to steal this one because I don't think it's wired the same. But who knows? I don't know. But not in a million years that I think I had anything to worry about when it came to auto theft. Only because... Again, maybe the, I'm thinking because of the neighborhood I'm living in, maybe. They, but where they recovered the car, where the cops recovered the car, was maybe, I want to say like maybe 20 miles away. Still in the same borough of Queens, but it was like 20 miles away, like in another part of Queens. So, can I say that, I, to be honest with you, I don't know. It's just that, supposedly, it's a big thing on YouTube with many videos showing different Lexus cars, trucks, all of that being stolen, accessing the, like, the behind the bumper over the wheel well, playing with some wires and starting the car. They don't even need a key fob anymore. So, and they didn't steal a car for the wheels or the Cadillac converter. They didn't even steal it for that. What they did was they took the car and relieved me of my property. <laughs> so they took, they took, uh, thank you, appreciate you. Yes, sir. They took the, um, they took my tablet and I had a couple of dollars in the, coin pouch they took the money they smoke weed in the car and, and um they damaged the bumper and that was the extent of it i got it back so quick maybe they had plans to do something with it i don't know but um yeah the comments were interesting i thought that you know None of the comments that I read talked about how they saw the videos on YouTube and they were familiar with the cars being stolen. None of that. It was more or less maybe where you live is the problem. Um, did I leave the car door open? All the crazy stuff like that. And I'm like, the reason why... I feel like I'm secure with that car is because anytime I walk away from the car and the mirrors are folded, it lets me know that the, the car is locked. So when I walk away and I turn back and I see those mirrors folded in, I know everything is good. And where the car was stolen, there was a lady across the street that got her car stolen. But I know she didn't have a Lexus. She had like uh, Beamers and Mercedes out in her on her property. So I don't know if my area is hot for car theft. But the the police said that there's a lot of cars being stolen, and it's like it's a problem. So who knows? All I know is that. I am so happy I got my car back because I just looked, I was looking on, I was looking on, um, I was looking on websites, looking for that exact same car, and they want, they want big money for those cars, not big money in the sense that, you know, it's new car money. It's like um, it's like the prices haven't dropped. 
And I'm not going, it's like, I feel that if you're going to steal the car and I can't get it back, I'm going to replace it with something bigger and better. So, I saw that as a sign that maybe I should get the, um, maybe I should get the GSF this time. Maybe I should go GSF. That was, that was my thought. I was going to go either GSF or RCF. I was going to go with one of those cars, and I was going to have to pay more than what I wanted to pay for it. I can tell you that much, because I saw the, the amounts that they was asking for, and the prices are high. The prices are high. So, this video is just in response to the comments that I, I was reading, and I just thought it was interesting how... The one comment that stuck out about about what I was saying was maybe it's the area I lived in, and I and I thought that was I don't know, but I can tell you like this: you could be in the ritziest town in the price. I mean. Your economic status is not contingent on your car being stolen, I can tell you like that, or your car not being stolen. Cars have been stolen out of driveways um, of people that own million dollar homes. So, and I don't, definitely I don't own a million dollar home. So, I don't know, like, nah, the area you live in and all this other stuff, I can't see it, but anyway, um, I'm glad I got the car back, I'm putting it in the shop, it's going to take $1,200 to restore it back to new, and that's what I'm looking at. Right now, the car has been parked in the same spot since I got it back. I haven't even moved that. I don't even feel good. I don't even feel comfortable driving it for two reasons. Number one, just the thought of somebody violating me and knowing that they sat behind the wheel, their fingerprints are still in the car, and their weed smoke and their body odor and their farts and all of this other stuff it really I, I don't feel comfortable driving the car number two when um, they wired it to start it I don't know if those wires are going to come loose as I'm driving and the car shuts off I don't know what's going on with the wiring that they mess with so I'm going to drop it off at Lexus <clears throat> I'm going to drop it off at Lexus Monday and let them um, do what they do and stuff like that. And I should get the car back within like four days, which is going to be good. So that's where I'm at with that. So I can't wait to get the car back, get it cleaned out and fixed so I can drive it. But right now, it's just sitting. But anyway, to the next one.